Hey folks, today I'm taking a look at the demo for Oblivion by TryHard Studios. Uh, I don't think this is like the Elder Scrolls Oblivion, I think this is a bit different. And I'm really excited for you to see the, uh, the opening cutscene here, so let's get going. Another bad day. I'm really tired of everything. Same. I hate everyone, semicolon. I hate myself. This anxious feeling is killing me, semicolon. I don't know who I am. The life is against me. I'm lost. So true. This guy's a lot like me, really. So I can move around like this. He's a really glowy man. Except he's in the shade. Look at this. I've never seen a more depressed looking video game character. I'm falling apart. I'm broken. I'm so scared. I need a signal. I'm lonely. Got to get out of the alley. Can I go up these stairs and back down them? No. Why would you have the stairs there if I can't use them? Come on. Whoa, watch out, guy. Oh my fucking god, that orange car. No! <laughs> he's seizing up. No, that's not funny. Sorry. He's... I think he's gonna die, though. Oh. That was disturbing. What's this tube? Holy fuck. Oh my god, guys. This is what happens when you get hit by a car? No way. <laughs> oh. Whoa, who's this? Where am I? What happened? What is this place? Who is this? It's Aurora. Welcome to Oblivion, a place where everything and nothing is real. The time doesn't exist here. Take me back to my life. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I'd be like, sick. This place looks amazing. In order to get back to your reality, you need to cross that portal. Oh. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, Aurora seems pretty helpful. Hold on. Wait, never mind. Not so fast. Before, you have to fight your disorders and your own monsters. Oh, man. I hate doing that. You have to visit your past in other dimension and defeat your worst nightmares. The portal is right there. Oh, well, can't argue with that. It sounds like it could be a productive use of my time. <laughs> this guy. Just gonna throw me in there. What's my, uh... yeah, I guess. Your adventure begins here. Hmm, okay. It's all sassy all of a sudden. Thanks for your help, Aurora. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with her face. Oh, she got like face paint on. Never mind. Let's go in. Welcome to the infinity. This game is so fucking loud, by the way. I, I'll have edited it, but it's like, I put all my volume at one. Like the lowest the volume can go, and it's still really loud. Anyway, welcome to infinity. Don't fall down, or you may be lost forever. Try to get to the next portal. Push your limits. You are more powerful than you think. I hope so. Oh, this game's so funny. Whoa! <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is actually really cool looking. I don't know why. Just this normal looking guy doing these crazy jumps in space. Look at him. He's so powerful. Aurora was right, man. I wish I was this powerful. Some platforming now. Oh yeah, this game is everything I hoped it would be. This is so cool. Oh shit. It's a bit tricky, you don't get a lot of uh, control on your jumps when you're in midair. You're kind of like locked into a jump as soon as you press the jump button. But you can change the direction with the mouse. Which is interesting. It really feels like the jump was like programmed from scratch, it wasn't like a uh, default jumping thing. It's a very uh, unique jump. It looks like I might have, might be here for a while, because I haven't got used to it yet. Whoa. I love that animation though. Oh, for fuck's sake! 
Yeah, this is tricky. So you have to you have to step back a bit before you jump because if you're too close to the edge of the platform you'll go too far. Because it's really hard to like stop moving in midair. Hard to explain, but uh feels pretty unique. Anyway, what are we trying to get to over there? It looks like a drum. I guess it's the same thing as this thing. So is this this guy's demons or whatever? His Whatever we needed to tackle before we can go back to real world. Is that what this is? Damn, there's a lot of platforms here. Look how fast this one's going. Shit. Okay, there's gonna be some editing in this video, I can feel it. Fuck. <laughs> What's happening here? Uh, I can't move. Well, this isn't good. Uh, I think I've soft locked the game. Uh, I don't think it's a pause menu or anything. I guess I'm refreshing the page. doing it. I'm so close this time. Only a couple more jumps left. Um, yes, I see her. Oh my god, I did it. I have no idea how many times I died in that. That was a bit tricky though. Seems like you are a true warrior. You are worthy to get to your reality again. That was a nice travel. In the oblivion stages, wait, that was it. Remember, your reality depends on you. Make things happen and live each day as if it were the last. I will. I guess this is the portal. Seems you have learned a lot here. I'm proud of you. Now go back and be happy. Be kind to others. That was a great experience at the end. I have more desires to live than ever. Oh, I guess we're not quite done just yet. Gotta pick up these things. Go to the portal. I don't want to leave. I don't. Uh, I don't really know why the guy wants to live now. Like, what did he experience there? I was just jumping on squares. I mean, it was a. Uh, that would probably be a nice experience, I don't know. But would it, like, give you your will to live back if you were, like, depressed? I don't know. Aurora said she's proud of us, that's nice. We will see each other later in the future. Thanks for all these lessons. Sorry, I'm not very good at voice acting, they were kind of the same voice for both of the characters. Now she's over here. Are we done? Alright, thanks. Bye. I still can't really tell what her face is meant to be because of the chromatic aberration. There we go. Yeah, it looks weird. Bye, Aurora. Bye. Some cool effects. I don't know if that was just a dream, but I feel different now. Yeah, probably because you got hit by a car. I feel like I fixed something inside me. I don't know what that says. Leave the alley, probably? The reality of each person is the way they interpret their environment. That interpretation depends on a personal story, a unique universe inside each mind menu. I think we finished the game. That was quite cool. It was a little janky, but uh, I enjoyed that character's journey, although I feel like it could be fleshed out a bit more, but this is just the demo for this game, so, uh... That was a very funny, memorable experience, even though the gameplay, uh, could use a bit of polishing, and it was very short. 
but I would definitely play a full version of this game. What can I say? It was kind of cool. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, bye.